Around the globe, from the sun-drenched savannas of Africa to the dense forests of South America, big cats reign supreme. Lions, tigers, leopards, jaguars, these apex predators command our attention with their strength, grace and impressive size. They are the undisputed rulers of their domains, striking fear into the hearts of their prey and captivating the imaginations of humans for millennia. Their size is not merely for show, it is a testament to their evolutionary journey, a precise adaptation to their environment and hunting strategies. But a curious question arises when we consider the canine world. Why are there no dogs that match the imposing stature of these feline giants? The story begins around 42 million years ago when a common ancestor of both dogs and cats roamed the earth. This ancient carnivore, a creature known as a myocid, gave rise to two distinct lineages. Feliformia, which led to modern cats, and Caniformia, from which dogs, bears and weasels evolved. From this point onward, dogs and cats embarked on vastly different evolutionary paths, their destinies shaped by the relentless forces of natural selection. These diverging paths led to distinct physical and behavioural adaptations. Cats, with their emphasis on stealth, agility and powerful fatal bites, generally evolved as solitary hunters. Dogs, on the other hand, with their emphasis on endurance and social cooperation, generally adopted pack hunting strategies. While no wild dog living today comes close to the size of a tiger or lion, the fossil record tells a different story. Introducing Epicyon, a genus of gigantic canids that roamed North America between 16 and 9 million years ago. These prehistoric predators were giants among dogs, with some species, like Epicyon hydini, estimated to have weighed over 200 pounds, larger than the largest African lions alive today. So why did these canine titans vanish from the face of the earth, while big cats continue to thrive? The answer, as with many mysteries of the natural world, is complex and multifaceted, involving climate change, prey availability and competition from other predators, including perhaps the ancestors of modern big cats. We cannot ignore the impact of our own species on the fate of large animals. Over the past 100,000 years, humans have played a significant role in the extinction of numerous megafauna, including large carnivores. From the saber-toothed cats of the Ice Age to the dire wolves that once roamed alongside mammoths, many formidable predators met their end as humans spread across the globe. It begs the question, would giant canids like Epicyon still roam the Earth if not for the impact of humans? It's a question we can only ponder. What is certain is that the extinction of these large canids paved the way for other predators, including big cats, to dominate their respective ecosystems. Section 5. Silent Hunters, the prowess of big cats. Big cats are the epitome of grace and predatory power. Their hunting strategy relies on stealth, ambush and a decisive burst of speed and strength. Consider the tiger, a solitary hunter that relies on its camouflage and cunning to stalk its prey. When the moment is right, it explodes from its hiding place, delivering a fatal bite with its powerful jaws and sharp teeth. Lions, while often portrayed as social hunters, employ a similar strategy. Lionesses, the primary hunters, use teamwork to stalk and ambush prey, relying on a coordinated attack to bring down zebras, wildebeest and other large herbivores. Section 6, Endurance Hunters, the Pack Strategy. Dogs, in stark contrast to their solitary feline counterparts, are masters of endurance hunting. They have evolved to work together, using their keen senses, physical stamina and coordinated movements to chase prey over long distances. African wild dogs, for instance, will pursue their prey relentlessly, taking turns in the chase until the exhausted animal collapses. Wolves, with their chilling howls and coordinated hunting strategies are another prime example. They rely on their intelligence, communication skills and pack structure to bring down large prey such as elk and deer. 
Section 7, Grey Wolf versus Siberian Tiger, a case study. The stark difference in hunting strategies between big cats and wild dogs is perhaps best illustrated by comparing the grey wolf and the Siberian tiger to apex predators that inhabit similar environments. The Siberian tiger, a solitary hunter, relies on stealth and a powerful pounce to take down large prey such as deer and wild boar. The grey wolf, on the other hand, depends on its pack to pursue prey. They will chase their quarry for miles, testing its endurance and isolating weaker individuals. While a single wolf may not be a match for a Siberian tiger, a pack of wolves can and does take down prey many times its size. Section 8. The size of the prize prey and predatory prowess. The size difference between big cats and wild dogs can be partly attributed to the size of their typical prey. Big cats with their powerful build and deadly claws are equipped to take down large ungulates, sometimes even exceeding their own weight. This ability to secure large meals provides them with the energy reserves needed to sustain their larger body size. Wild dogs, while capable of bringing down large prey as a pack, typically target smaller animals. Their hunting strategy based on endurance and wearing down their prey is better suited to taking down prey that is closer to their own size. Section 9. Adaptability. The key to canine success. While wild dogs may not have attained the same colossal proportions as their extinct canid ancestors or their modern feline counterparts, they have achieved something arguably more remarkable. Adaptability. Dogs are found in a wider range of habitats than any other large terrestrial carnivore, from the frozen Arctic to the heart of the tropical rainforest. Their ability to adapt to diverse environments and exploit a variety of food sources has allowed them to thrive. This adaptability, more than sheer size, is the hallmark of their evolutionary success. Section 10, the evolutionary tapestry. The absence of dogs as large as the biggest cats is not a matter of chance. It is a testament to the complex dance between evolution, ecology and environmental pressures. Big cats, with their solitary nature and ambush predation evolved, to fill a specific niche, that of the powerful, stealthy hunter, capable of taking down large prey. Dogs, on the other hand, forged their own path. Their evolution favoured endurance, cooperation and adaptability, allowing them to thrive in a wider range of environments and exploit a greater diversity of prey. Section 11. A world of differences. In the grand tapestry of life, there is room for both the silent stalker and the endurance hunter. The absence of dogs as large as big cats is not a deficiency, but a reflection of the incredible diversity of life on Earth. Each species, moulded by millions of years of evolution, plays a unique role in the intricate web of life. And as we continue to explore the natural world, we're constantly reminded of its boundless wonder and the remarkable adaptations that make each species, big or small, a marvel in its own right. <laughs>